Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to make a spatula out of what I have here is hemlock. As you know, if you've been following the channel, you know that I do like to cook with cast iron. I don't use metal on the inside of the cast iron. I like to cook with wooden spatulas because it doesn't do anything to the inside cast iron or the, or the seasoning that you've done to it. So I'm going to be Yesterday I went out and I cut this piece of hemlock, so I need to strip the bark off, cut it up to shape, and we'll see if we can modify it to a, uh, a, wood, a wood spatula. I'm going to be using a draw knife, and we're also going to be using a, uh, a shave horse. This is something that my grandfather made, so probably back in the 70s. I had to kind of revamp it a little bit because it was falling apart. So I'm going to give you a chance to see what the heck a shave horse is. So it's a really good tool to have when you need to use your draw knife, especially on a regular shape of wood. All right. So before I get started, I'm going to start the fire down here in the basement because it's actually pretty chilly. So let's go start that first. So I'm going to start by cutting this to somewhat, somewhat of a size. Just going to eyeball it. Go to the shave horse. So a shave horse is this is very crude. My grandfather made it back in the 70s when he was making axe handles. So you actually sit on it, you put the piece of stock through this, and you push on it with your foot to create tension. And then you go ahead and do your work with the draw knife. The way he made it was the legs come out. They just fit into holes. All right, let's get going on it. So I have two draw knives. Here. This is still pretty wet since I cut it yesterday. So the bark comes off very easily. The last time I used a shave horse was when I made a uh, I made a paddle for a canoe. And that was 2010, same time that I did the finger. All 
All right, that was very easy. So we've got the basic piece here. Let's go ahead and go to the table saw and see if we can make it a little thinner. The best tool would be to have a bandsaw. I don't have a bandsaw. But I've learned over the years to use push sticks the year that I hurt my finger I was sending a piece through the table saw and all of a sudden I felt the kickback and a bang and when I looked my uh, fingertip had been taken care of and uh, there was a little bit of blood but it was a brand new bland a brand new um saw blade that I bought from Woodcraft so it was clean it was a clean cut I'm going to insert a photo of what it looked like so um, if you're squeamish you may not want to see it but this is things that happen when you're woodworking so you got to be careful and I'm usually very careful You have to try to read the wood, know how it's going to go through. I'm just going to try to make a square edge so that I can work off of that. edge to work with. Beautiful wood. And this is hemlock. I'm making about three quarters of an inch so I have I have something to work with. some nice slabs here they're still wet but I can still get them to shape how I want and then um, I can actually start using a draw knife to taper down from the handle so you can see the knot I don't want to end on a knot I figured it could be to about here for the part, the spatula part, and then this can be the handle. I'm just going to kind of follow the contour. I need to Just go by, just go by eye. Uh, I think I'd like it a little thicker.
Okay, so I'll be using the jigsaw for this. Okay, so here's a piece. So before I'm going to go ahead and do the jigsaw, it's going to be easier if I do the tapering down while it's still one piece of wood on the shave horse. I just have to transfer this line here. This one I'm just going to cut off. So I want to do my taper from here down to here. So let's go ahead and cut this off. I'm just going to bring it down to a little bit of a taper. You want to kind of taper the edges on the sides if you can. You don't want straight, straight split, and they don't look appealing. I don't do any markings when I'm doing this. I kind of do it by eye. So whatever I do here, I have to do on the bottom side. It's close to, it's close to what I'm doing here. I'm not looking for perfection. I just don't want it to look bad. So if you didn't have a shave horse, or a draw knife, you could use a you could use a uh, plane. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to round these over when I'm done and then I just want to kind of make the handle flow into one. I think this might be a little long. I can always change it.
let's go over to the uh, drill press with a little sander on there. We'll see what we can do with this thing. So I just want to round over the handle. The handle's kind of rough. It's not comfortable. So I'm going to round it over because if you don't round over, sometimes it'll split. And then I also like to do um, Season it with an oil. I don't use a uh, specific oil. I'll use olive oil because that absorbs into the wood. And it's good for cooking. It doesn't throw anything off. One easily made spatula out of hemlock that's going to last a long time. So within, I don't know how long I've been down here. I don't. Let's see. I've been down here 45 minutes. And I managed to make a really nice spatula for my cast iron cooking. And this is out of hemlock, something that I went out back in the woods and I cut. So it's for free. Minimal, minimal tools. Uh, the biggest thing is just be very, very careful because if you're sending a, a limb through your table saw, you can have bad results, which is what I had back in 2010. So, got a really nice piece here. All they have to do is put a little olive oil on there, let it absorb, and it's perfect. This is what I need. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm just going to give this a coat of olive oil that will absorb into the wood. The oil really brings out the grain, even in hemlock, which is a soft wood. It came out very nice.